a projectile is fired at an angle to the horizontal so here is the angle theta here is the horizontal here is the velocity vector v0 is the starting velocity vector a projectile is fired at an angle to the horizontal in the absence of air resistance what can we say about the horizontal component of the starting velocity vector as a function of time ignore air resistance assume that acceleration due to gravity is a constant welcome to hdtvedu.com direct and simple education in seconds so the starting vector is now resolved into a horizontal component and a vertical component assume there is no air resistance if there is no air resistance you can just look at the distance that you cover in one second there is always acceleration due to gravity along the vertical but along the horizontal there is no pull or push so for a projectile there is no x acceleration there is no acceleration along the horizontal if there is no acceleration along the horizontal the velocity along the horizontal should remain the same it, velocity along the horizontal remains the same what does that mean that means we cover equal distances in equal intervals of time let's say this is for one second so from a we are here right from a let's call this point b what is the horizontal distance that we cover it is this that horizontal distance that horizontal distance is going to be the same as what you cover in the next second in the next second you are at point c all right so this is the horizontal distance that you cover in the second second So this is again one second. Let's do for the next second. For the next second, we are here. It is the same distance that we cover one second. In the next second, what is the distance that we cover? It is the same horizontal distance. This is what it means when someone tells you that the speed is a constant or the velocity is a constant. You cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. All right. So horizontal velocity is a constant. Horizontal velocity is unaffected by gravity. even though the velocity vector changes along the vertical the horizontal velocity vector remains the same it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time so don't forget speed is equal to distance divided by time so v0x is a constant so that is the important thing for you to understand that the velocity that it that the component of the velocity vector along the horizontal is a constant so what is acceleration along the horizontal acceleration along the horizontal is equal to zero because there is no pull or push along the horizontal what about acceleration along the vertical If you define positive x as to the right, positive y is vertically up. Acceleration due to gravity is negative nine point eight meters per second per second. What does that mean? It means that the vertical velocity changes by negative nine point eight meters per second every second. If I have an initial vertical velocity of nineteen point six, then after one second it will be 9.8 less than 19.6 now don't forget so here is our vertical velocity vector 
and here is our horizontal velocity vector. So what happens? The object has a velocity that points in that direction, correct? Similarly, now the horizontal velocity remains the same. Only the vertical velocity has gone down in value. All right? The horizontal velocity remains the same. The vertical velocity at the maximum height will be zero. The horizontal velocity remains the same. The vertical velocity now is reversed. All right? The horizontal velocity remains the same. The vertical velocity is now reversed. Horizontal velocity remains the same. The vertical velocity, you cannot show that there. Okay? This is George Matthew signing off. Good luck. Thank you.